Hi, I'm Simply Jelly Jam. I decided I wanted a tabletop that could attach to my DIY craft cabinet using some metal mounting hooks. I had two hooks attached to the craft cabinet and I put aside two that would be attached to the back of the tabletop. The long skinny pieces that I'm making marks onto were originally meant for the bottom of the bookcases, but I figured they'd be perfect for mounting, or rather attaching my DIY tabletop to. The mounting hooks didn't sit flat against the shelf or the long skinny pieces. We used metal washers to fill in the gaps behind the top two screw holes of the mounting hooks. This made the mounting hooks strong and stable. My dad made the tabletop with MDF board and several 2x2 pieces of lumber. I used a T ruler to help him determine where to drill the screws into. Dad countersank the screw holes, later filled them with putty, and then sanded it so I'd have a flat, level surface to work with later. We spray painted the DIY tabletop with the same color as the bookcase backings. It took several coats to cover the entire thing. Dad later sanded the edges so that we'd have something smooth to work with. After the paint dried, I set up the tabletop in my garage. Resin emits harmful fumes. My garage with the door cracked open provides a good amount of ventilation. I checked the levels in all directions and made adjustments as needed. This was my second ever attempt at a resin tabletop. I was very nervous about working on something at such a large scale and messing up. I used a two part, one to one ratio epoxy resin. Because it takes a little longer to cure than other types of resin, I had more time to correct mistakes. I mixed several liters for my design. I had one liter of clear resin, one liter colored with green mica powder, one liter colored with a blue mica powder, and one liter colored with white mica powder. I did have extra resin left over that I ended up pouring into a variety of other molds off camera. I 
I started by pouring clear resin over the tabletop. I spread it out and torched the bubbles before adding the colored resin. After I added the colored resin to the tabletop, I used my mixing stick to spread some of the color around. Later on I used my hand to spread and blend the colors even more. I had no clue what I was doing. I just kept at it until I found something that I liked. I ran my hand along the bottom several times to catch the drips, so that that would be one less thing that I had to sand later. We used a torch to pop the bubbles, and then left the tabletop alone for about a week to allow the resin to fully cure. I measured and marked where the additional two metal mounting hooks needed to go on one side of the resin tabletop. The table is not lightweight, but it's light enough for me to pick it up when I needed to use it. We added a couple of legs to support the weight of it. We also added foot adjusters so that I can ensure that the tabletop is level no matter where I used it in my house. I use Velcro to attach the legs on the inside of the tabletop when it's not in use. With my DIY resin tabletop done, I only had a few more things to do to complete my DIY craft cabinet. 